Hey everyone, Andrew here, Melbourne Superman. So I guess it's time. I'm, I'm, I, I kind of have to react to the new Superman suit, right? So obviously, actually, before I get into that, make sure you please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notifications bell, ding ding. If you're if you're enjoying the channel, help a help a dude out, help a super dude out. Um, but okay, so we were introduced to James Gunn's Superman suit the other day, and it was an interesting it was an interesting uh, image. So, before I get into what I think about that, I'm going to go into some of my favorite Superman suits over the years. So, number one, for like, I'm, this is in no particular order, but I'll try to make it in a kind of, sort of order. I think if, I, well, I'll try to count down, okay? So, I'll count down, and this is just going to be live action suits. I'm going to try not to forget any, I haven't written any notes, but it's fine, everything's fine. So, I think... If I were to say my least favorite live action suit that I've ever seen would be, and this is no shade on the actors, this is no shade on the show, this is no shade on anything, my least favorite live action suit would be the George Reeves incarnation because it, it just, it didn't, it never really looked like it accentuated anything. I think, I think probably George Reeves had a better physique than that suit showed off potentially, but it's, it was a nice, like, I don't dislike any of these suits, by the way, but it was, for its time, it was fine. It was obviously very muted because of the black and white show, and when they got the color, the color popped off the screen, uh, but it was a very basic suit. It was, you know, it was the, it was the boots, it was the briefs, it was the belt, it was the, the, the blue, the top, which looked less like spandex and more just like some kind of a dense material. And then the cape, of course, had the emblem on the back, and it drooped down so that you could see the suit behind the cape, so it didn't tuck necessarily all in, which I don't, I didn't mind. Uh, there's plenty of incarnations that have that, like the Alex Ross Superman that have that, and I don't mind that. But yeah, the George Reeves, probably my least favorite suit. Banging theme music, though. Banging theme music and a hell of an opening. Uh, and then comes Kirk Allen. So the Kirk Allen suit, I don't know why I like this a little bit better than the George Reeves suit. It's probably not as good because it was more like a sweater. But I don't know. Maybe it's just because Kirk Allen looked better in it. I'm not sure. But it's it similar in, in terms of what it looks like in terms of the George Reeves suit. Um, you know, very, very basic, very, 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 very standard. But obviously a lot less iconic than the George Reeves suit because a lot less people know of that version. So Kirk Allen. Now, okay. 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 Now we get into a little bit more modern times. So I'm sure you all know what my favorite suit is. I'm not going to spoil it yet. But. So, okay. My next... I really, 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 really wanted to, like, love the Superman Returns suit. And I do, I mean, I do. It's iconic, I have one, but I think it's not exactly what I was expecting. And every time I see it, there's just, there's little things about it. So the Superman Returns suit, it's of course got the leather cape. It's got, and it's of course very muted, but that's because of how they shot the movie, sepia. Um, so the, the reds look more like burgundies and the, 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 the yellows are very dark. And the, well, actually the reds look a little bit more like brown burgundies. I did like, so the cape is obviously leather, or well, a leather-like material, tucked in. The belt with the S on it, kind of cool. I, I do dig that. I don't know if I would have preferred just a solid sort of triangle there instead of, like a solid shield instead of the S, because it feels like the S is a little bit overdone on this suit because they've got the S's on the back of the boots, they've got the S on the, the belt, they've got the micro, the micro S's on the shield, and what I thought were diamond patterns on the suit, the milliskin fabric, are actually little S's as well. So there's like too many S's. Um, but overall, it's a nice suit. Like the, the 3D uh, emblem is really cool. I do like the shape of the boots. I do like how sleek it is and the contour lines and everything. And it did look good for that movie. It did really look good for that movie. I think I would have liked to have seen a bigger S 
potentially brighter colors. You know, everything's so dark in, in modern times, so it's, it's hard. I, I, I do like brighter colors. So, but that's the Superman Return suit. Again, I like it. So, okay, so George Reeves suit, six out of 10. Kirk Allen suit, six, seven out of 10. Superman Returns suit, six, seven out of 10. Then we move on to, now, this next suit was actually a lot of fun. Uh, Dean Cain, Lois and Clark. I've always loved this suit. I don't know what it is about it. It's not particularly flashy. Well, it's shiny. I think I like the shininess of it and the, the size of the S, which was cool. The size of the S in the back of the cape. This is a suit that I've always wanted. I have a sort of mock one, but I'd love it in an actual Lois and Clark suit. Uh, I love the boots. I, the only thing I kind of don't love is the belt. I, the belt looks like, because it's like a cloth belt. It would have been cool if it was not that or if the buckle was different. I don't know, the buckle's weird because it's like rectangle, but it is a nice suit. The boots are great. The, the cape is nice and flowy and it's cloth. The, the spandex the, uh, and the emblems, both on the front and the back, are shiny and I just, I love them. I don't know why. Maybe it, it, it elicits a lot of memories from when I was watching the show as a kid. So that would be my next, that would be my next. After that, okay. Um, honorable mention to Smallville because they used the Superman Returns suit in the fortress and then they CGI the rest of it. <laughs> so we go into the next few suits. Now I'm not including the Superman James Gunn suit in here. The next suit I would put in would be the Tyler Hecklin suit actually. Now a lot of you would be like, well, why do you like that suit? It's so geeky. Look, it's, it's bad. It's not good. But I, I don't know, there's something about the Tyler Hecklin suit that I really, really like. Like, yes, it looks like a, a cosplayer suit, but, and now I'm talking about the actual, his actual uh, uh, suit in the show, not the first one, the Fleischer suit. There's something about it, like the belt is cool, the muscles, I mean, it doesn't fit as well as it probably could. It doesn't look like it's form fitting, which is interesting because we've seen Tyler without a shirt on in the show and like he could probably rock just not having that. Um, but it's just something about, you know, it's not just the suit, it's the way that the actor wears it. It is Tyler Hecklin, the way that he carries himself. He just looks good in it. Um, and I would, I would put, this suit and the one that he wore in Supergirl in the same sort of category, where they aren't great, but he just carries them really well, somehow. So there's that. Next would be the Max Fleischer suit from Superman and Lois. I, I really do like that one. I did like that suit a lot. It looked much more traditional, much less, I mean, obviously there was a muscle suit under it, but you couldn't really tell as in, it wasn't like in your face, it was just, it was muted. Then comes the black suit from Resur um, uh, Snyder Cut, the resurrection suit. I just think it's I just think it's sleek, it's sleek as hell. It just looks cool. Black suit, uh, silver S, gray cape. Um, it just looks good. It just looks really good. The, the black trim and it just all works. It just really works. The first moment you see that on screen, it's like, whoa, that's a suit. Then comes the Justice League, the, the Justice League suit, which was, for me, a little bit too in your face with the chrome muscles. It, just, it never really looked right, but I did like the brightness of it. I did like the shine of it. I love the shine of that emblem. I love the shine of how it looks, but it was just too armory looking for me, which brings me to Batman v Superman, which less in your face armor, a little bit darker, still shiny, really sleek, really cool, really love it. Um, probably my, I don't know. Do you know what? It's actually a tie. It's a tie between that and the Man of Steel suit. A tie between that and the Man of Steel suit. So if you don't know, Batman v Superman suit, it's got the Kryptonian script. It's got the square belt buckle. Man of Steel suit doesn't have the Kryptonian script. It's, it's a little bit uh, uh, more weathered. The emblem doesn't have the Kryptonian script on it and the belt buckle, buckle is round. And the, the entire suit is just a little bit, it's not darker, it's just more weathered. So those two are in a tie. I really do like those suits. I really do like the Snyder version of the Superman suit. And then of course, Superman the movie, Christopher Reeve, Superman one, two, three, four. That is my favorite suit. Is it the best looking suit out there? Maybe not. Is it the coolest suit look out there? Maybe not, but it's what I grew up with. It is, it is nostalgia. I look at that suit and I know exactly what I'm looking at. 
I love wearing that suit. I love how that suit just looks on people. And it's just iconic. It's so iconic. Like you look at that suit, you know exactly what it is. I mean, look at any of them, you know exactly what it is. But it's just the, 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 the stretch Lycra, the leather belt, the leather boots, the briefs, the tucked in cape with the yellow S on it and, and, the, and the S that would just expand with his chest as he, as he, as he moved. And it was just, it was so iconic. It was such a good suit. And Christopher Reeve, he's my Superman. He's always going to be my Superman. So, okay. The new suit from James Gunn. I have thoughts. I like it. I like it at first glance. Now, everybody's talking about this scene where he just looks like a lazy Superman just suiting up. Who knows what the context is? Who knows what the context of that scene is? Who knows what we're looking at? We just don't. We just don't. So I'm not going to go into that. But the suit itself, okay, so it's got it's got the, the, the new 52 collar. It's got the Kingdom Come S. It's got sort of the, um, uh, uh, what was I going to say? The boots, oh, the boots are also 52. It's, it's darker than I would have liked. But again, that's, that's just what it is. But it also looks weathered. So maybe, maybe it was brighter at one point. Maybe it's, it, maybe it is brighter at one point. Who knows? Again, we don't know what we're looking at. It, it doesn't necessarily look like it's tailored as well as it could be, which is probably a choice. I would have liked to have seen something more form-fitting, like the Cavill, like the Reeve, like the... Well, that's that's it, really. Um, every, everybody else has kind of had a suit that hasn't really fit. I mean, Superman Returns, that was very form-fitting, form of course. But it... Like, you put it side-by-side side with the, 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 the Cavill suit, and it does. It looks like a cosplayer suit. But again, who knows what we're looking at? Who knows what it's actually going to look like? I just wish it was... I, uh, I do like it. I, I do like it. I like the collar. I like the 52 collar. Um, I, I love that they've, it looks like they brought the brace and the belt back. I absolutely love that. So we're going more classic. I really like that. So that's cool. Um, because for me, Superman always has the briefs. Although I do like the Snyder suits, but, ah, oh, wow. As I, I've got the Justice Lord Superman. By the way, uh, I am doing, um, Dirty Rotten Scoundrels one last week. And my stage angel got, has gotten me a few different Superman things. And he gave me this yesterday. Or she. Who knows. Um, plus a bunch of monsters, which is cool. But yeah, so Justice Justice Lord uh, Superman does not have briefs. So look at me, a liar. Anyway. So yeah, okay. So that's that's basically what I think about the suit. I think it's, it's going to be interesting when we see it on stage. Uh, on stage. On screen. And I'll be very excited to see what the sort of um, progression of the suit is. So who knows how it starts. Maybe it is going to start brighter. We don't know. But anyway, so that's been my little reaction on the Superman, the James Gunn Superman movie suit. So look, I, I hope you all enjoy this. Again, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notifications bell, ding, ding. Follow me on Melbourne Superman on Instagram. And thank you so much for watching. I will catch you next time.